Hello, everyone, and welcome to Jump Up Supercast, the only podcast on the internet that's also the development team for Metroid Prime 4. Joining me today, the dig- Diddy to my Dixie, Musamil. I didn't realize I was in Singapore. You're right. <laughs> Stop. The Chunky to my Funky, Brandon. Oh, man, I, I'm slow and I can't jump high. You're a hell of a guy, though. Oh, that, thank God. The Lanky to my Swanky, Saf. And the cranky to my donkey, Noah. I want that to be lanky, goddammit. <laughs> that was your goal? Oh, all right, well, that worked out then. Now, boys, third week, how's everyone feeling? Uh, pretty uh, pretty great. Uh, especially pretty great. because we missed some news last week. I, I... We did miss some news, but before we get to the news... That's great. I want to do a thing. Many people, thousands of people across this world noticed that a man was wronged on last week's podcast. That man's name was Saphir. He, on the last question of the who's that Japanese Pokemon, spoke up saying who's that Pokemon, but because all of our loud mouths were speaking, we could not hear this boy. So I am here to apologize for the unjust treatment of my good buddy and all around great guy, Saf. He had rightfully won the Pokemon quiz, and I took his rewards for victory from him through no fault of his own. Saf should have made the statement for Noah to read, and it would have been amazing, but because of me, he can't. I'm ashamed of depriving the internet of such an amazing statement, and I promise that I will never deny Saf of the great respect he's always due whenever he enters my life. Oh my god, that's... It sounds like you just read one. I may have just read a statement from Saf. If so, don't worry about it. (laughs) Legally, I can't say either way. (laughs) Let the people decide. Follow the money. (laughs) (laughs) But while we were uh, doing all, having all that fun last week, we did miss a couple of news headlines. Moose is right. Uh, Two things uh, while we're getting into it uh, that happened during the Nintendo uh, investors meeting was the announcement of a new Mario Kart. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Mario Kart 9 Mario on the Kart Switch, 9? but isn't 8 isn't it eight doing so well? Well, it's Mario Kart Tour for the iOS and Android system. Oh, well, all excitement lost. I'm still excited, for the record. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... going to be free to start, so we're going down that path again. And it will be in the next fiscal year, and that's about all we know. But I figure that should be stated. Did they... Are they keeping to the same theme that is like it's not going to be like in the same full fledged way, but like some element of Mario Kart? This is the one I will say I have. I don't know how they're going to adapt. Like you, yeah. you, you hear Animal Crossing, you imagine it, right? Pyro yeah. you imagine it, but like, how do you monetize this? Because like, I mean, I, I assume we're never doing a Super Mario Run kind of thing ever again. Yeah, we're yeah. not. I mean, this free. This, this says it's free to start, so it it will be monetization driven. Um, I kind of made a joke about it, but I'm actually thinking they might actually do it now. Um, yeah, <laughs> fill up that I, tank I of gas this. for two dollars. Yeah, well, no, I was like thinking you could buy a special item box that appears on the track for four races or basically one cup, for just for oh. one ninety nine, and you have a twenty five percent chance. Of getting a star or like a higher oh, twenty five percent chance. I don't think star. Nintendo's gonna be scummy. Just to be clear, like what about <laughs> DNA? Gotcha games, are gotcha games. Are Doesn't matter who makes them. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll, I just I can't. I don't even know how it's gonna play. Also, like Nintendo's made a big deal about how like all of their mobile games is like they're unique because you could play with one hand, whatever, right? Because uh, <laughs> they all they mm-hmm. all play in portrait mode. But like, I don't think you can do Mario Kart like that. <laughs> so. I would assume. I mean, you probably could actually. Could you? Yeah, I mean, because because having it handheld would give you more sight of the track, so that might be actually, you know. Maybe they might do it like thing. micro machine style, where it gets gas is automatic and you have to turn left and right on your own. Yeah. that's all you do. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. I really I hope it's not just like there's uh, three tracks on the track and you swipe left and right to move to the different tracks. Oh, yeah, that'd or be like awful. Temple Run or something. Yeah. Yeah, or like yeah, like Sonic. Oh. Yeah. So, but like I say, we don't know. We'll find out later. It's the next fiscal year, so look forward to it. I also announced the Nintendo. It was rumored for a while, but the Nintendo is doing a Mario movie with Illumination, the people who did uh, Despicable Me, One, Two, Three, Minions. They did Sing recently, and also The Secret Life of Pets. Um, and the director also worked on Ice Age back in the day. So 
Miyamoto's involved, he said. They they had a prolonged talks with the director before they decided to go through with it. Uh, mm-hmm. So, But beyond that, we don't know anything about the plot, anything about the story or casting. We, I think they said they don't want Charles Martinet to be voicing Mario, which is kind of disappointing. Well, but, uh, I think they said that. I think there was definitely rumbling. I heard that was part of the rumor back in the day, but maybe maybe that's not true. Okay. Uh, in actual actuality, but we'll see. Uh, anyone care about the Elimination movie? I care. I mean, I love Mario, so yeah. I mean, uh, I'm sure this movie will be good. Yeah. Isn't isn't Mario speaking English kind of grating for some people? Yeah, I mean, like he needs to have an Italian accent, otherwise, no buy. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one example everyone uses of oh the Mario voice gets so annoying is this one video of the like the 3DS reveal where like Mario's yeah, talking yeah, yeah. over it. But there's been like events <laughs> where Charles Martinet uh, uh, talks as Mario for extended periods of time. Like Bams as fine. Mario, it, it's totally fine. Yeah, no, he talks to people as Mario is, and like he does like little Instagram videos where he like little skits with Mario and Luigi, and it's totally fine. Like it- well, I don't know, because I went to, like, Nintendo of America, uh, the, I mean, not, not Nintendo of America, the Nintendo World Store in New York a couple of years back, and they had, I don't think it was Martinet, but it was definitely, like, a guy doing, like, a Luigi voice, and Luigi was on the screen, and he would interact with you, and, like, I was in that store for, like, an hour, and by the end of the hour, I was like, I never want to hear Luigi speak again. <laughs> I don't want to hear the man's voice. I'm done. Well, wait, is this an animation or a movie? It's, uh, it's going to be an animated movie. Yeah. yeah, animated yes. movie. Okay, so it'll it'll probably be like ninety minute runtime. Most of those movies are around that. Um, um, so, like, you think they could do it like Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga style, where he just says a bunch of mumblings and a random accent, and they the other characters say, "What you said this?" Uh-huh. No, they're not. They're not going to do that. <laughs> they, no I mean, I mean, like they're doing a Snoopy movie, right? Like, I mean, like they're literal, and Snoopy doesn't talk; he just goes like, rah, 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 right? Like, so they I think already, that there's a they're doing a, a world but... Snoopy movie. Yes, no, because Mario's going to be the main character, and if yeah, I mean, but yeah, Mario's also a silent too. protagonist, so. I mean, no, Mario can talk. He just yeah, Mario speaks, but he lot. doesn't speak paragraphs is the difference, yeah. right? Like, hello, it's me, Mario. Let me tell you about my inner turmoil. Like, but that's... Otherwise, yeah, it's really <laughs> weird. otherwise, you're going to have to have that companion character that actually talks like a human being. To Peach, probably. Him. Also, yeah, well, my one hope for this is Peach does not get kidnapped, just to be clear. like I do. It's almost a guarantee she will be. We, we've will done be that so many times in the games. Let her be, like, a central role in the movie that isn't her being kidnapped. Yeah, I, hope, I mean, I do hope the movie. What's she gonna do? Like, order toadstools around? Or she can just like I mean, like she was in Mario plus Rabbids, right? Like, in no one questioned it. So like, yeah. I think there's a there's a potential thing there, but uh, who knows? Um, uh, Super Princess Peach. I mean, it was Super, know, well, really. Super Mario Two was a skin, a reskin of a game, not really a known game, but, but it's, yeah. yeah, but it's yeah, Mario 3D World. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I think World. that I. I think that, like, because, you know, like, Miyamoto's involved, but, like, also Miyamoto has pretty weird thoughts on, like, what Mario should be as a story, oh, yeah. you know? So, like, I don't know if that's as, if that actually is particularly exciting or not, but we'll see. Um, I'm excited for the movie, though, right? Like, it's just going to be cool to see Mario in a theater because uh, yes. he's such a big deal. Mm-hmm. But um, next up, in, in other news that relates to old platformers, uh, there was a leaked... A uh, five-year plan, potentially, for the Crash franchise from a British advertising agency called uh, GBI. Uh, they leaked that Activision has plans to, A, port uh, the Insane Trilogy to Switch and to PC in the next year, and then have a new Crash game in 2019. Now, what that game may be isn't specified. It could be Crash Team Racing remake it could be a new Crash game, but uh, they said last year after Insane Trilogy did very well that they saw Crash now as a franchise with the future, and this might be uh, that put more to like more brass tacks. Um, new I think, Crash, new Crash. Wait, I'm so I want it to be new Crash. So, so Crash, on, there was no funding from Sony for Crash. There was none. There was oh, none. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that there. I don't think. Th- in in the talks about the game, there was never that. I think it was just that, like, yeah, and it was never said that it. Was they never be said it was exclusive. exclusive. Yeah, yeah. There was uh, never even like a timed exclusive thing. It was just that, like, I don't think they saw. Yeah, pe- people had always wondered because Activision never blatantly said like this is PlayStation exclusive. Yeah, yeah. and it never came out on Xbox either. No, yeah. I, I think it was, was more. Clearly, there was some sort of deal with Sony, like at least timed exclusivity, but like 
I guess that that period is run out, and now they're gonna put it on PC and yeah. Switch. Well, I'm. I think. I think there's a couple of ways this could have happened, right? I think that the one is that just obviously the Crash remake, like it looks good, but like I don't think it was a particularly high budget item on Activision's list. So maybe they said it's just not worth the act of porting it to Xbox. That market doesn't care about Crash. Uh, and also, like the Wii U was dead at the time, right? Like when this game got put into development, when the remake got put into development, the Wii U was dead and floundering so like now that the switch is successful they're like oh like suddenly we can sell another million units on this i mean and the people demanding that game was the playstation fan base right yes like this is like this this is like at home for playstation gamers like you know the icon of the ps this is like the oldest franchise they can pull back on basically right like that like still has a a direct attachment to the playstation yeah for the lot for the longest time they have uh, been on nintendo consoles mainly just the crash series Yes, uh, DS and uh, I think 3DS maybe. But yeah, yeah but so. you would say the the heyday of Crash is firmly on the PS One. Right? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, everyone remembers the the good times of Crash are firmly in the PS One era. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like time. it's like saying that like Sonic has a history on the Wii, um, maybe on like the Wii U, right? It's like true, but no one's like, man, give me a Sonic Boom <laughs> too, please. That's my jam. No, I was just saying that maybe there's a market that might have developed on that as a result. Yeah, I mean, I think that, like, platformers as a market have have reason to be on Switch. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, like, and then finally, for the shorter, not tons of news this week, but a th- uh, this one is just, uh, it's a lot of things that are interesting if we knew more, is sort of the through line, right? Like, Mario Kart, interesting if we knew more. Mario Movie, interesting if we knew more. Um, Cloud's getting a redesign in Final Fantasy VII Remake. At a closed event, they showed Cloud. They said uh, people did not take pictures of it, shockingly enough. Uh, they said that the cloud design is more natural looking and that is closest to the original design for cloud that Nomura had. And that uh, if people remember properly, cloud was actually kind of like a goofy dork character in the original game. And that this is closer to that than it is to the like advent children, really, you know, sad and like moody cloud that like, the, where's the, the geo stick? Hot emo cloud. Yes. Yeah. The stuff that, the stuff that happened after the game. He's quite edgy in the original one as well, somewhat. He's, but, but it's less so, right? Like Cloud was willing to put himself in a dress, and like at the end of the game, he like overcomes that. At the beginning of the game, Cloud is not that. I don't like. Yeah. He. he uh, I mean, if, I get if anything, that... he's like an action hero, right? Like he has like like catchphrases that he wants to get off and like try to be a cool guy. Yeah. Less so than like, get away from me. You don't understand my inner darkness. <laughs> like that's my favorite not... characters. My favorite character. I guess I played him yes. as a. I guess I played him <laughs> as an edgelord because all like, you got up just like I don't care or like be nice to people or some shit like that. Yeah, I mean, and a lot of that too. Like, it's weird that I, like how much I think the Kingdom Hearts characterization of Cloud then carried on into the can like into the like the other iterations of him. Can I just say, like, the the last piece of news before this was in May, where it was like, yes. oh, we're internalizing this fucking game. I can't believe the next piece of major news is that we they've decided that the cloud from Final Fantasy VII will look like cloud from Final Fantasy VII. I can't believe that's the fucking. And we don't even get to see it. We it's not like it's like. Yeah, yeah, like that's the thing too. It's like someone just take a screenshot, right? Like you're willing to do this interview, but yeah, I can't you wait can't for when they decide Barrett from Final Fantasy VII will now look like Sass from Final Fantasy XIII. That's gonna be great. <laughs> I, I I just want to see more on this game. Like this weird little tidbits they're giving uh, giving is just annoying. Like it's been I, like four years almost. <laughs> fucking hell! This game started Swear. production when fucking the PlayStation Four HD version of Final Fantasy VII was announced. That's how long the production was. What the fuck is taking them so long? Yeah, I mean, I don't. I mean, I think I think the actual sort of answer here is that it's Kingdom Hearts here. I think that if we look like Square is very much like we have this game coming out this year and this will be it that we're talking about. Yeah, like they don't um, like to talk about like what's coming out. But then but then you yeah. ask but then you have to ask why announce those games in the first place? Like why not take um, that same approach to announcing the games? Yeah, I mean I think that they probably feel that now. But they didn't back then, right? Like, right now, like this it, is a mistake they've been making since the PS3 generation. Just to be clear, this is not like, <laughs> this, yeah. this is not but a new announce thing. Announce a game like a hundred years ahead of time. But I do think that like Project Octopath Traveler, for example, right? Like that's a game that got announced 
almost a year ago exactly, right? Because it was in the January unveil. We're get, probably getting it mid to like September of this year, right? That's a totally reasonable turnaround. I think that like, but in this defense, it's got a dedicated dev team that's working yeah. on it. Like, and that's serious. the problem, right? Is that FF Seven didn't have that up to this point for a while. Yeah. What the fuck is that game, man? They they <laughs> they fucked that game up. It's but what, like, FF Seven remake. What? Like all the, all the things about it, like oh, it's going to be in episodes and yeah. Well, who knows? Yeah. I mean, it might not be ep- like we haven't heard about whether or not it'll still be episodes. <laughs> that was years ago. So it's yeah, just no, but like they've just fucked it up so bad. It's such a weird like phenomenon of like how do you fuck something up that's so easy? I just like after well, versus I mean, thirteen, thing like not... I don't know how they're doing the exact same thing as they did with versus thirteen. Like it's well, to be fair, we still have a while to go to look at the versus thirteen levels, but like. <laughs> Yes, I get it. It looks like we could be going down that path, and that is always sucks, but it's just the curse of being a JRPG fan in some ways, right? You just get used to waiting. Uh, I mean, and it, when so it comes on to a Dragon Quest next, Western yes. date. <laughs> yeah, so, waiting on that Dragon Quest date, it hurts. It hurts inside. But uh, that's basically the news for this week, by and large. Uh, if there's anything that you think that we missed, leave it in comments. Leave it. We can talk about it next week. Uh, uh, one person that I know that, that listens to the show sent me just a DM on Twitter saying, hey, I want to talk about this next week. So we're going to hit it. So just help us stay informed on stuff because sometimes we miss yeah. things. Slide but into one of our DMs. They're always yeah. open. Slide in, they're, I don't know if they're always open, but you can tweet at like Jump Up Supercast <laughs> hey, on mine Twitter. Are. <laughs> I'm w- I'm winking, but you can't see it. It's fine. It's fine. I don't I don't like the idea of inviting viewers to do that, Brandon. Uh, we'll you see. Find me on social media. Find Brandon. Wink. No, Ooh. don't. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> oh yeah, don't don't. For don't the sake actually. of the show, please don't. Please for the sake of the show. Don't. Uh, once yeah, again, Brandon's winking, but you can't see him. <laughs> heavy <laughs> winking from Brandon. 13. But you know what I do want to hear. What do you want? What hear? I do want to see. Uh-huh. I want to see hot takes. Oh man! So we're here. We're in, we're in the early of February. We're looking at towards this next year, and like it's about six months till we hit that February time. We're getting the big releases. So I want to hear some hot takes from any of the boys that got them about what'll happen in these next six months of video games. Moose, you're a master of hot takes. You love them. You could do this for like five hours. So give yeah, me many people say. <laughs> give me some stuff. Okay, so here, first of all, number one, within the next six months, okay, there will be a Super Smash Brothers game announced for Nintendo Switch, okay? Now, okay. I can't tell you if it'll be announced at E3 or in a Nintendo Direct before then, that doesn't matter. But at e- w- w- uh, whenever it's revealed, at E3 this year, the Smash logo is going to pop yes. up, right? Okay. And you're going to see Goku in Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and this is something I genuinely believe, and let me let me tell you why. Okay, so last game okay. we had Cloud, boom, crazy reveal, right? How can you top Insane. that? You ne- you gotta escalate. The only possible way to escalate is Goku or Master Chief. Now you tell me which one's more likely of those two. It's Goku. Okay, so <laughs> no. I thought you were joking at that no, point. The, the, no, this is the only option. <laughs> I thought option. you were joking when you first suggested this. No, 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 no. This is a something I genuinely believe in all of my being, okay? Uh, he is the premier fighting game character after all. Uh, <laughs> and how are you going to sell people on a Super Smash Brothers game that's mostly the same game as the previous one? Yeah, new characters is nice, but to really sell it, boom, Goku. That's how you get people talking about it. So yeah, there we go. Discuss. <laughs> okay, He's not so wrong. I let's, agree. let's just okay. So Brandon thinks that Moose is right. Okay, Saf, what do you think about Moose's opinion right now? No, Noah. <laughs> hmm. oh, Noah, Noah's how do you feel? Noah? Noah's Noah's speechless. He's in shock. I will have to say though. <sighs> oh, oh no, he's here, folks. He just can't speak. That's actually he was in shock. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know who's going to be the better option? Who? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. How the, dare you? I, how the most dare iconic you? Iconic of video game oh, characters. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. We have to be realistic here. We have to be realistic the here. Kingdom Hearts player. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. If there was going to be a Kingdom Hearts representative, it would not be Mickey Mouse. Let's yeah, be real. Yeah. Right. Okay. So here's the deal. You think? Don't think Disney don't want that promotion. Okay, hold no, on. No, but... they don't care. They don't care. It's Disney. They don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give a crap. 
Oh my god. If it were any mean, it would be Sora. Okay. It's fine. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Saf, this is even hotter than this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a third Way to one that. up. <laughs> yeah. So at the end of the Smash ballot, flashback to 2015. Mm-hmm. At the end of the yeah. Smash ballot, we see at the, at, when they announce Bayonetta in the bottom right corner, an asterisk. Within feasible characters, when they said that she won the vote. Correct. Mm-hmm. You know who yeah. was number one that was not a feasible character? Goku. 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 <laughs> know who is now a feasible character? Goku. <laughs> yeah, I'm buying he wasn't, in. He wasn't feasible during the DLC phase of Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. However, now Sakurai sees that ballot result and he's like, you know what? It's time. Rules are meant to be broken. It's time for Where Goku. Where is your evidence that it isn't Mickey Mouse? Where is I, it? No, it's Goku time. Guys. Because people don't want Mickey Mouse. Who's asking for Mickey Mouse? <laughs> Listen, the Everyone door is wide open the- now. All right? Yeah, the door has the been busted wide open. wide open. Sonic and Snake cracked it open. Yeah. They cracked okay. the glass ceiling. Cloud smashed through it. Cloud just ripped the door off the fucking hinges. He was like, you know what? Anybody can be in this game. I haven't even been in a fucking Nintendo game. So I'm gonna smash this fucking. Remember door Kingdom right Hearts now. Chain of Memories? That's enough, baby. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. The more important question is: Will uh-huh. power levels be canon? <laughs> no. Yes, power it's a hundred. Goku will be Toriyama a god. Already said. Goku will just blow up the stage with a giant spirit ball. It'll be fine. It'll be uh, beautiful. Yeah, I mean that actually might be his final smash. All right, so that was good, Moose. On a, on a scale of one to ten. For how spiciness, I'm gonna give that one a eight. For feasibility, gonna give it a seven. It's good, good stuff. Brandon, seven. Give me yours. Okay. Well, I don't know how to follow up on that because I mean, that's a ridiculous hot take. <laughs> it's a good one, but mm-hmm. so I don't think I'm gonna follow up as with you know I'm not gonna beat that eight point spiciness, but I got a hot take nonetheless. Uh. Within the next six months, we're going to get two release dates for some big heavy hitters for the Nintendo Switch coming this holiday season. I don't know when the official holiday season starts, but this fall, okay, we're, within the next six months, we're going to hear Metroid Prime 4 is coming out in October. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay? And Pokemon Gen 8 for the Nintendo Switch is hit in november yo so we're within a two-month span we're getting metroid prime 4 and pokemon and pokemon gen 8 believe it okay so that's good because this gives us a chance to talk about some rumors with metroid prime 4 we have the word on the street this week is that bamco nam bandai namco (laughs) bamco (laughs) nandai (laughs) <laughs> uh, Bam, uh, Namco Bandai Singapore is making that game. It's got former people who have worked on other shooter games, so it's not just a whole new team. Uh, so you think that, that that team's been at it long enough for it to come out in October? Yeah. Yeah, Believe. so like the, the LinkedIn profile. I, I saw the rumor. It said a first-person uh, shooter for the Nintendo Switch exclusive. Unannounced IP, PC. big IP, very exciting. They were okay. The the job listings were kind of ridiculous in how obvious they were making uh, <laughs> uh it making it out to be Metroid. Like it's like first person adventure game exclusive to Nintendo Switch. Uh, Nintendo's publishing it. Uh, they're very hard on us. It's a huge IP. Like, what, what could it be? I don't know. How many games can you describe as a first-person shooter adventure by Custom Nintendo? Custom Robo. How, how, how do you know it's not Call of Duty? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Call of Duty. <laughs> Nintendo does publish Call of Duty. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> but um. And then Pokemon. You think they're hitting Brandon? What What will that Pokemon game be? Will it be a remake? Will it be a new region? Will it be going no. back to an old region? I uh, I said it's going to be Gen Eight. It's going to be Gen 8. Gen it's going to be a whole new yeah. land. It's going to be a whole new land. Nice. Well, can I throw in my own hot take on this one, Brandon? Okay. Can we can we consolidate some hot takes? We can okay. alter the hot take, I guess. Pokemon for Switch. Uh, We're going back to Kanto. Boom! Be... That was what I was going to say. <laughs> See, I don't know. I don't know if I feel that. I mean... I it'll know. be after Red and Blue, uh-huh. and at the end of the game, who will be the champion? 
Lily. I don't know. How, I don't know. Lily will wait, be wait, the wait, champion. Wait, 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 wait. Who's Lily? I'm feeling that. I mean, wait, is that going to be a new story or is this going to? It will be a new, a new story. story. It will be a new story. Uh, just to be clear, I put Canto? these ideas into Will's head. Just, I just want the record clear. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I would give that to you, but I think maybe as like a, a second uh, Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, that's fair. like instead of a third version, they make a sequel to Red and Blue. Okay. But I think Gen 8 comes first. Brandon, do you think Metroid Prime has multiplayer? You know what? Two had multiplayer. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with no. 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 It's a no. powerful single player focused shooting uh, game. Metroid Prime 3 took out the multiplayer. You know, I'm not saying it's impossible. But Federation um, Force. I miss the multiplayer. It was so good. I think a AAA game in 2018-19 needs multiplayer. Just yeah, that out I mean, there. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 does not uh, have multiplayer. Not a triple game. <laughs> doesn't count. <laughs> Pokemon in, or doesn't, oh wait, not. Pokemon does have multiplayer. <laughs> Pokemon doesn't have multiplayer. Zelda. Uh, Mario, Zelda. Mario and Zelda. Mario and Zelda do not. That's a good point. Super Mario I mean, Odyssey does. technically, technically, yeah. Mario Odyssey got that new update. Yeah, see? Uh, uh, That's asses. a weird. That's a weird. That's well, not. That's especially a but a shooter game in 2019, the way you sell it is a multiplayer aspect. I, I'm feeling a multiplayer aspect I mean, coming maybe. in this game. I'm gonna say maybe. I'm not. I'm not gonna say straight up no. But I'm leaning. I'm 60 no, 40. Yes okay. For that. So do we think that that both those games will hit those dates? Everyone else. Ah uh, no, I think no. Pokemon will. And actually, uh, my take was Red and Blue too. But I, I have a backup one. Don't you can worry. give that take. You can give more details, my dude. I, uh, <laughs> But they're already going to make a Gen 4 remake. Why are they going to do it? Oh, shut up, Seth. Hold on, let him get, we'll get, we'll get to it. But first, Moose is discussing the dates. Yeah, so I, I Metroid, I'm really strongly feeling like 2019. Early, I think it'll be out before E3 of 2019. But like... It's coming this it's year, my dude. Year. It's coming this I, year. Because the job com- listings no, were like for early 2016. And like, so 2018 just seems way too soon for that. Pokemon, I see though. Only if... It's a return to Kanto, though. Just to be clear, because I think a new generation. We'll get to that in a moment. We'll get to that. Let's yeah. let's let's not let's not talk about Kanto for a second. Yeah, yeah. but but like a a, re, a a new generation of Pokemon this year just seems crazy because Sun and Moon were two years ago, so it's like you know that's a little too much. But we'll see. I mean, five to six wasn't was only like two years. It was twenty eleven to yeah, well, two and a half years though. You know. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, Saf, Noah, do either of you think those dates will hit? I think I think Pokemon will be more realistic. To be honest with you, Pokemon's going to be more more realistic because they've announced it. Like they've announced that at launch, they've had plenty of time to work on this. So I can see Pokemon, but with Metroid, nah. All right, I'd say they're going to be more spread apart than that. If that's going to happen, okay. So what's making it? What's not? Tell me. Pokemon will make it. Metro, I think, is going to be a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. So everyone I thinks thought- Pokemon's first for sure, and it might get this year. Definitely a lot of no's on Metro. Brandon, you got a lot of no's yeah. there. So shockingly enough, that spicy is a 7.5, my dude. You got spicy wow. there. You didn't think it was, but you did it. And for mm-hmm. feasibility, I'm going to give that another 7.5 because I think it's more likely than Goku. <laughs> I've, 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 I've got a last minute hot take. Oh, Saf, throw it in there. Yes. So E3 is when they announce... E3 is when they announce their online service. And part of the first games announced for that online service is Mother 3, translated and remade. For the Switch. That's... 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 Saf, you're speaking to my heart here more than anything else. <laughs> my girl, you, Emily, Emily Rogers. Yeah, I was going to say, it. when did Emily Rogers get in this <laughs> oh. fucking podcast? Listen... It. We are a pro Emily Rogers podcast. I won't let Brandon take this from us. I want to keep my account on reset era. <laughs> I'm just saying. Saf channeled his inner Emily Rogers. It's happening. I believe. She predicted it. It will happen. I, I believe Mother 3 in my heart, but I don't think they're giving it for free on the online service. That's just crazy, Saf. <laughs> Saf, I love that. I'm not even going to rank it. I just love it. Know that you get a love out of 10. <laughs> a love nice. out of 10. <laughs> All right. So we got we still got some hit to hit with Moose. All right. One that we might already be aware of. 
All right. Uh, well, I I have a different one actually. Uh, okay. Well, we. What about Noah? Does Noah have any hot takes? Noah I do. was told to save his for last. He wants yeah. a special spot. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so four twenty, right? Big day. Uh, for Just Nintendo, Blaze, yes. For Nintendo and Sony. Blaze the cat. Yeah, Blaze the cat. <laughs> um, yeah. There's no more that starts with twenty. What? T- two, two, oh, two big. Me, okay. <laughs> two big games are launching on April twentieth this year, right? Uh, God of War. And Nintendo Labo. Okay. Jenny thought you said God of War. I was like, what? Garden of War, Garden of where War. you just Garden. grow a bunch of very angry plants. If it is not supply constrained, Nintendo Labo will outsell God of War on the NPD. Ah, okay, so is that is that just one skew or both skews combined? Both skews combined. I'm cheating. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what you're saying is that if that happens, we're getting we're not getting Metroid Prime Four. They're canceling to make Labo Five. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Amen. Yes, uh, <laughs> video games are dead if God of War loses to Labo. <laughs> Why do you think Labo beats God of War? Like God uh, of War is a story franchise, man. God of War is a story franchise, but number one, at launch, it won't review well. Okay. Uh, number two, <laughs> hold on. Addendum to this hot take: What will the Metacritic score be for God of War? Eighty-one. Eighty-one. Which is like, yeah, that's, that's bad for a that's AAA. Pretty all right. That's I mean, pretty all right, not, but for a AAA game, a God of War game, for a tentpole release, that's the issue. Yeah, tentpole release, eighty-one is pretty mediocre. Okay, uh, yeah, and then so so it'll have tepid reception. Okay, number one, and number mm. two, Nintendo Labo is genius. Okay, it, this thing is gonna sell like crazy. They will sell everyone they manufacture. <laughs> I'm feeling it. So. All right, all right. Okay. Anything more? No, that's all. That's just. You know, I don't. I don't hate that hot take. I don't hate it. That's the dumbest hot take I've ever heard. <laughs> the dumbest hot take <laughs> I've ever heard. Uh, just for perspective, by the way, some reviews from a couple months ago that are around eighty-one on Metacritic. Uh, mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed Origins got eighty-one. Middle Earth: Shadow of War got eighty. Call of Duty: World War Two got seventy-nine. So. We're in that space of game. I mean, can you like list the Sony exclusives that got eighty one no. or eighty? The um, nineties. So I don't think given the current trend, I don't think Sony would actually do that or make that happen with God of War. What do you think about the game that will be bad, Moose? Um, I can't tell you because I don't know. Uh, okay, that's just a feeling. It's just where's the gameplay? Yeah, where's the gameplay? Richard play? needs I to haven't know. Seen sh- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, and you know what? Uh, they, they're making a big deal about this story focused, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the story will be mediocre at best, okay? And the gameplay will Kratos suffer. Kratos will be redeemed. Uh, ga- the gameplay will suffer because of their stupid cinematic focus, okay? That, that's okay. my hot take. <laughs> okay. This is hot. That's hot. That's spicy. People are mad at you right now. So that's. Seriously. You that's a nine. <laughs> That's a you've, nine. <laughs> you've earned the ire of reset era. You've earned the ire of reset era. I'm <laughs> going to God of War my avatar. God of Warify my avatar. Despite you, you <laughs> yeah. no shell. That's a nine out of ten on the spicy meter. Uh, feasibility. I think it's actually pretty feasible. So I think that's going to be a, a an eight. Oh, oh, that's, totally. that's more than I thought it would be. Quite no, I take the back. Seven point five. That's a seven point five on the feasibility scale. <laughs> it's as likely as Metroid number. hitting this year. <laughs> seven point five. It's where, it's why I set Brandon at, and I think that I think that like now I think about it, Metroid Prime is about the same odds as Labo beating God of War. <laughs> uh, it's just gonna come as that surprise. What the hell? How did this sell? But it did. Yes, it did. Well, we're slam dunking on Sony right now. Uh-oh. We're slam dunking them. <laughs> oh hell. boy. So while we're at it, oh man, oh no, I'm going for that half court fucking slam dunk, oh, that Michael Jordan shit. arm stretch, Space Jam slam dunk. All right, and I and we're one month into into the year so far, so I could already be wrong on this because I don't know sales figures from <laughs> like the back of my hand. Okay, so if I'm wrong, please correct me. Okay. <laughs> but all right. The Nintendo Switch will outsell the PS4 every single month of 2018. Yes! I mean, I really want that to happen, but... Oh my god! 
Ah, know, there's like so many big games every month up until think, six, I, the next I six think, months. I think every if I, single month. Fuck the next six months. I'm talking a whole year. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption Two. <laughs> it's gonna slam dunk that PS4 right down. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna try to, switch, try to stop. If you talk anymore, Muzzy will actually just. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I think we're firmly giving ourselves an identity here of what we like. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't <laughs> like it. You guys are giving yourselves an identity. You guys are. I'm just saying, oh, wait a man. Fuck away from that. Uh, well, uh, Brandon, I don't even know if there's anything to say about that one besides you're an absolute madman. I 1000% yeah, agree. That's a spicy agree. hot take. That's a, nine, that's, a, that's a 10 on the spicy. You've maxed it out. <laughs> Feasibility, that's like when, a two. When, when was the last month that the PS4 outsold the Nintendo November? <laughs> okay, but no, look, they had a good deal. It, it was supply constrained. There was reasons. No, I meant yeah, to just yeah. take Brandon. No, you're you know, being insane. No, Is it this, two out of ten on the feasibility? Nintendo was only using 10%. Nintendo of might put energy. out 12 Pokemon games this year, <laughs> then it has a shot. Otherwise, you're crazy. Well, hold on. No, no, no. Who needs Red Dead when you got uh, a, a Pokemon? And you got Grand Theft Auto Five coming this November. All right, mark it down. It's coming. <laughs> this is disgusting. This is disgusting. Well, What's November, up? November. This wasn't even Nintendo's final fall. Wait until <laughs> Metroid. And They're Metroid unleashed. Get Kirby Star Allies. Year. Yeah, Pokemon getting released in November. Like my last hot take. Bring on Red Dead Redemption, baby, because Pokemon is going to smash it. This is Nintendo. Not the Contra Country Blue. Tropical Freeze will will carry it through God of War. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boom. yeah. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. People aren't going to be buying a PS4 for God of War. They might. Mark my word. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Moves. Especially when those 80 Metacritic reviews come out. Yeah. Especially when those 80 Metacritic reviews come out. Oh, God. This alternate timeline you're creating is very troubling. <laughs> Okay. Holy shit! What? All, right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I don't think hot takes are as great as ideas. I thought it would be. No, this, this is, this oh, is good. Fun. This is good content. All right. Me and Muzzy are creating the future. Yeah. <laughs> it's looking bright. This is it's, good. it's looking good. Moose, uh, what is your hot take? Tell me. Okay, here it is. All right, final hot take. Um, fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this one's not as hot, to be honest. This we I, I got to bring it down a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm sweating. I'm yeah, sweating I, from I, the heat just, of that last one. Yeah, yeah, After exactly. Change shirts, it's nasty. So, so Dragon Quest is slated for this year. Okay, uh, Dragon Quest Eleven, to be clear. Uh, sometime in a Nintendo Direct before E3, I think in March, April, uh, Nintendo, or I guess Square Enix, will announce Dragon Quest Eleven is indeed still hitting this year for both Nintendo Switch and PS4. Okay. Uh, no 3DS version. No 3 3DS version is not coming in, but Nintendo Switch. Uh, will the Nintendo Switch version will launch worldwide the same day that the PS4 version launches in the West, and it will have voice acting, which it did not have in the original release. So okay, so yeah. so you're you're like Dragon Quest Eight did, yeah, like Dragon Quest Eight did, except with the addition of the Switch stuff, where it's like you know, uh, do they do orchestrated music? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. also what happened in Eight. So I'm just asking, yeah. will they do the Eight treatment? Going all the way, yeah. Was Dragon Quest Eight the one with the bad voice actors? Hold on! Don't you insult Yangus or Jessica? <laughs> Wait, I'm so you're off is the that, podcast. Is that the game where the Americans try to do English accents and they're bad at it? No, no those were British voice actors. No, wasn't was it? Seth, get out of here, you fake British man. Get out man. of here, you bad can't, man. Can't <laughs> even tell who your countrymen are. You're disgusting. <laughs> If that wow, is denying your own to... people. Yeah, this isn't right. Uh, but yeah, so Dragon Quest Eleven. This is this is why Scotland wanted independence. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. This is bad. Uh, Brexit. Uh, let's see. <laughs> All right. So, Moose. Yeah. I'm going to get through this one. I'm going to tell you real fast. I believe that. I think that's a nine on the feasibility. But Ooh. it's not particularly spicy. That's a four. Yeah, it's not very spicy. I had to cool the room down, you know? It was, yeah, th- it was I mean, th- thank you. I, I, that's a thankful four, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. I was sweating, so. Brandon, do you have one more? I got one more, and I I also am trying to cool the place down a little bit. Throw throw some water on, on that, that hot fire that I was spitting earlier. Okay. Uh, and this one, 
this one's I, I don't think it's too crazy. Kingdom Hearts three, two thousand nineteen. That's it. Yep. I don't believe you. This is disgusting. I don't believe you actually. It's I believe it's twenty eighteen. I mean, it's it. coming this year. They're announcing it's going to be holiday. Uh, uh, before yeah, this enough hot takes, Cam. Be, uh, hold on. <laughs> before this podcast goes we'll up, see. before this podcast goes up, we it, Square Enix will say it's coming holiday twenty eighteen. <laughs> Mark it down. Okay. Oh, hold on. <laughs> New Fuck hot you. take. <laughs> Throw it in there. Three days from Moose's now. hot take is a ten. Brandon's hot take is like a four. <laughs> it was supposed to cool <laughs> the place <laughs> down, not bring it back up. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. You all yeah, see? I thought we were on the same page here. What the hell is this? So, no, no, no. <laughs> Rock the dial in the temperature gauge. Just everyone, mark it down. When you're listening to this podcast, Kingdom Hearts 3 will already have an estimated release. Just, all right. You want to fucking bet on this right now? <laughs> I've got another hot take. i got another hot you, take. You know what? Yeah, I'm just saying they'll say holiday 2018. I'm not saying a confirmed release date. Just holiday 2018. They're gonna say you mean by literally Monday, they're going to announce yeah, it. By over Monday, the weekend. They will say that. When over they're not the at weekend. work. Yes. I'm, What's the stakes? What? What's the stakes of this Even if bet? they do. Even if they do. Uh-huh. It's still coming out in 2000. <laughs> my words. But what are the stakes? Moose, you taking this bet that Brandon's offered? I'm taking this bet. I am taking this bet. Whoa. Yes. Okay, what's right. the st- Brandon, what's the stakes? What's the stakes? Hmm. All right, all right. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is the is the bet right now. Yes. So whoever wins, got to buy the other person Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, that's an expensive bet. <laughs> that's an expensive yeah, let's bet. go. <laughs> go big or go home. You know, I, yeah, sure. One of, okay, no. Whoever whoever loses next week's podcast will have to do a dramatic reading of the goofy death scene from Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> Yes. yes. <laughs> well, all right. I can agree. and 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 Kingdom Hearts three. Let's go. I'm not afraid. Look, I'm not backing all down. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll discuss that part later. But <laughs> for sure, the Goofy death scene. Oh. We here at the Jump Up Supercast scared. Do not promote scared. Yeah. Well, you're not from promote, but gambling on this podcast. <laughs> um, scared. Look at him backing down. What a coward! I just want my free copy of Kingdom Hearts. 3. All right. So now we have the special boy ready. To give us his hot take he's developed in mid podcast. No, what is it? It's actually been building up for quite some time. It's a lot of things I'm going to talk about, so I'm just going to condense it in a bunch of small sentences. I'll be real quick about it, and then you can talk about it after. Okay, so. Oh, okay. I hate Waluigi. Golden Sun is shit and should never have another game. Mobile games are the future, except Fire Emblem Heroes. That game is bad. It's the worst. Leave it. No more. Every game should have censorship. We have to protect the children. No more boobs. No nipples, actually. But anyway. I might as well get the whole, rid of the whole thing. I'm so lucky, and RNG has been nothing but kind to me, especially in Pokemon. <sighs> Speaking of Pokemon, Gen 3 is the worst gen by far. All the Pokemon in that gen are god-awful, especially Werelord. I have never had lag, and, and, and my internet is amazing. Please subscribe to Jump Up Supercast. Fuck Waluigi and Waylord. Done. Right. I agree with everything. I've thing never I've agreed with you more. <laughs> Tell it. This is absolutely disgusting, but it does <laughs> lead in very well to this week's game. Now, excuse me, I'm going to go rinse my mouth out with soap. It's fair. We'll see you in a minute. Uh, but in case people don't want, don't know what just happened, uh, we have a game we play every week. It changes up. Whoever wins gets to write a little message for whoever loses. So, for this week's podcast, it's Guess That Video Game Tune. So, we all know video games have songs. Some video game songs have lyrics. They're normally pretty bad. So, I have here uh, two verses and then the chorus from five different video game songs. Shit. Whoever just shouts out the title first will get one point. If you can finish the rest of the verse, you will get another point. Damn. Is this clear? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna suck okay, up. so song title, point, <laughs> sing, continue in the song, another point. Okay. Yes. If you get it wrong, the, anyone else can try to finish the verse. Okay, and then they'll get a point. Yes. Uh, the entire verse? Uh, you have to finish off from where you cut me off. So there is there is now a, a disadvantage to cutting me off if you if you don't think you know the rest of it. Okay. Okay? Uh, okay, okay. This is going to be some anime weeb shit. It's not going to be some anime weeb crap. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was, that was significantly. 
Why, Seth? You'd be good at uh, that. <laughs> okay, here we go. First up. Spin the wheel. Take a chance. Every journey starts a new romance. A new world. Do we wait? Wait. Do we sa- do we throw out Just the title immediately? Out. Just throw out the title whenever you want to stop. Okay. Uh, jump up, superstar. Jump up, superstar. <laughs> no, I got it. Damn it. Do you want to finish off that verse? I, it was a new world. I don't remember the rest. <laughs> I'll just take the okay. title. <laughs> All right. Anyone want to try for it? Okay, wait. How, how far did you get in? I said, spin the wheel, take a chance. Every journey starts a new romance. A new world. Like you've never seen before. Don't go grab your box of Super Mario Odyssey and open up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. It's in the case, isn't it? <laughs> These are all very good. Um, like you've never seen before, is it not? No. No, shit. Fuck. It is. A new world's calling out to you. Take a turn off the path. Find a new addition to the cast. You know that any captain needs a crew. Damn. Yeah, I would not have known yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. See, I knew the beginning, but I didn't know that the, part. The, so. Yeah, the, 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 <laughs> what we based our wow, podcast all right, show off canceled. of. You know what? We got a new, We need a and new let's name. Let's change the name of the podcast to whatever song we get the first time. <laughs> <laughs> now that's some all right. all right. Next up. There's a face searching so far and wide. There's a place where you dreamed you never find. Hold on to what if. Hold on to what if. No one got it? I have no, I have no idea. Next verse. But you can't save your sorrow. You've paid and trade. You can't help but follow. Oh! Oh, I know it this puts one! You right Look at her! Is, Brandon is this got it. Learn? Brandon got it. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Live and learn. <laughs> Finish that verse, Brandon. Finish that verse, Brandon. Okay, where, we, all right, where were you at? You, you pay and trade. You can't help. Can't help but follow. And then one more line. Help no. Put follow. you right back where you came. Right? Yes, you got it exactly. Nice. Yeah, boy. All right, very good. So right now the score is Brandon with two, Noah with one. Next up, I'm not even angry. I'm being so sincere right now. Portal. E- okay, give me the name. <laughs> oh, no. uh, even though you broke my heart and killed me. Tore me to pieces. Still alive. Yes. Ah, fuck. <laughs> now, okay, what's like, the what's next the name line? again? What's the name? Uh, I don't know. Well, what was, where'd line. you cut off? Uh, and killed me, and killed me, and tore me to pieces. Take my heart into pieces. Ah, uh, damn it! I don't know that part. This isn't Papa Roach music. <laughs> 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 this is not Papa Roach. Very good guess. Shockingly, GLaDOS did not sing Papa Roach lyrics <laughs> to the end of Portal. Any guess? No. No. I don't know that part. And threw every piece into a fire. Fire. As oh, they burned, it came back to me because I was so happy second. for you. All right. Dead. Next up. Walnuts. Peanapples. Pineapple smells. DK rap. <laughs> Immediately. <Great. laughs> Grape oranges and oranges coconut, coconut, coconut shells. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's five points for Brandon. <laughs> One point <laughs> for Noah. <laughs> this is last up. Hope you're ready. Yo, rock what you got. Block what you shot. Another chapter, and what you see is what you got. Enough warriors here to fight. Choose one. The best of the best will be the champion. Whose world is this after all? What? <laughs> <laughs> prepare for the battle prepare for the war prepare for the real street fighter blood war the third of the third prepare to die for your life's on the line so i'ma take yours so who want a blood dance with me you just have to give me the game for this one i'm i'm gonna guess street fighter three he's right is this a strike this is this is infinite from third for street fighter third strike Yo, what's your first move? So what's it gonna be? You're trapped in the new world of Street Fighter 3. The third chapter, so what's it gonna be? You're trapped in the new world of Street Fighter 3. Listen to that song, by the way. It's a rap. It's very bad. It's genuinely <laughs> awful. I went to Rap Genius to try to get the lyrics for it. They don't know half the song. It's indiscernible. 
And these are people that are like, by their trade, good at discerning rap. (laughs) Yeah, rap genius is very good. They usually always have all the lyrics. So, there we go. The game is over. The score stands. (laughs) Not a close one this week. Brandon with six points. Noah with one. Moose and Saf both with zero. So guess who gets to write a hundred word statement for both Moose and Saf next week? Oh, boy. Uh, boy. So so soon. I I think uh, next week, Will, if you don't mind... Uh, because I'm I'm clearly a, a fucking genius. <laughs> yeah, you are unbeatable. Uh, I think next week, if you don't mind, I I might take the reins of the 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 host of the show oh. and let you compete. Oh, in the game? Uh, well, not the yeah, entire the, show. Just the game. Just oh, just part. for the game? That would be an honor and a just brand, the game. It would be an honor and a privilege to see your game, my dude. Yeah, I think I I think I got an idea for a good quiz show. Oh so. boy! Well, please be excited I, for I'm that excited. next week, folk. You. I will say, Jesus, take the wheel. I, I don't even know what I don't even want to know what you're gonna make me read. I'm concerned. It's gonna be nasty. It's gonna be a nasty, nasty thing. No, it's not gonna be a nasty game. It's gonna be family friendly for all ages. But we look forward to that next week. But guess what's been going on this week? It's video games. What have we been playing, boys? I've been playing Monster Hunter still. Me too. Always, I've clocked in 108 hours in that game. Good Lord, Noah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I've been trying That's to a lot of hours and not a lot of <laughs> it's time. It's not a small amount. You guys are crazy. Uh, that game, I'm in the high rank now. I assume Noah is yep. with that many hours. Uh, I've technically, I beat it. I've seen the credits. I, I'm not done. I'm not even close to done. <laughs> yep. I, can, I can't even see the end, to be honest, but it's still very good. Um, I've also been playing Dragon Ball Fighters. I think a few of us have, but we're saving that for a special little discussion at the end of the show, so... Be excited for that. Brandon, when I was asking what people have been playing this week, you gave me a game that you wanted to talk about. And I said, what? <laughs> Out loud in my room. <laughs> you have been playing Pokemon Go. Is something happening? Uh, there is. Actually, today, actually right now, I'm literally uh, playing Pokemon Go. Are you Go walking around in the streets? Play it my room. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not. I'm sitting in my house. As, uh, as we speak, but it's out. <laughs> there was, they did release new Pokemon. Uh, some more Gen 3. So they've been releasing them in, like, waves. Uh-huh. Have they finished Gen, Gen 3? 3 yet? Uh, not officially, no. Okay. There's still some that are, uh, not, uh, like, Hunt Tail in, uh, Gorbis, because I don't think they've figured out how the evolution's gonna work. Yeah, split evolution might be an issue now that I think about it. Well, well, yeah, well, they've done split evolution, but this is, uh, th- this is an item yeah. split evolution, yeah. so it's a little bit, a little bit different, uh, but anyway, the point is, Pokemon Go, it's still going. I still, I have not missed a day since this game came out. You are engaged. You are, so people, I'm sure there are listeners that are saying, Pokemon Go, is anyone still playing that? The answer is yes. It's Brandon. The answer is yes. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, my friends, I've got, you know, three or four friends uh, that play it total. every single day, just like, mm-hmm. I have three or four friends, total. <laughs> yeah, <five. laughs> In all my life. <laughs> they're on this podcast right now. Yeah, they're um, on here. <laughs> <laughs> no. So that this is fascinating to me, Brandon, to be honest with you, because I think that like there was the phase there was there was the craze, I think is is the word for that. Right. Where there was those videos of hundreds of people swarming for Blastoise. But I think a lot of people caught the Pokemon. Have you like how many Pokemon have you not caught at this point? Not counting the just released ones. Not counting the just released. Yeah. Uh, I think Gen 1, the only ones I haven't caught are the regional exclusives. Yeah. So you're not you haven't gone um, to Australia to get a Kangaskhan. Right, and I get, did get Farfetch because they did do an event where Farfetch uh, was in America for like a little bit. Um, so, but yeah, the only Pokemon I have from Gen One uh, are the regional exclusives, and same thing for Gen Two. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at. I mean, I literally have every single Pokemon you can get in Gen One and Two um, that without having to travel around your wor- around the world. Nice. I'm assuming they haven't actually implemented trading then. If that's the Oh, except for, I'm sorry, I have not got a fucking unknown yet. Weird. They're very, very rare. Are, are the, do and, do uh, you have to get all the different, like, letters for unknown? The worst part is, yes, there is a medal for oh that. Oh my god. Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> this is absolutely upsetting. So, I haven't even got one, so I don't know how the hell I'm gonna it, get, like, tw- it's gonna all take 20, some time. eight of them, or however many yes. there are. Uh, raids have been added to this game. Have you done any raids? 
I've done a lot of. Reading. How do these work? Is it like liter? Is is it sort of to try to re- like recapture that thing that happened at the start where you look around and there's just like 15 people that are all playing Pokemon Go at the, in the same place? Yeah. So I've done 34 regular raids and 56 legendary raids. Ooh. I mean, not a crazy number by That's any means. That's a pretty high number. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, but it's there's people who are insane in this game, and I'm definitely not one of them. Like, I still play the game every single day, and I like it a lot. And I've, I've told... I've come to the conclusion about this game that it's not the game itself. The game itself is very... Simple. Simple. There's not a lot to it. It's the social aspect of it that is just the most fun. Uh, you know, because every time you get together with your friends, it's it's a social it's social, you know, you we go walk around or drive around don't do that, don't do play this game while you're driving. But we walk around, drive around, we play it. We're we're together hanging out. It's a good time. We're talking about what we caught, what we saw. Yeah. You know, it's it's really fun and it's it's the social aspect that keeps it going. If I didn't have anybody around me that still played it every day, I wouldn't play it. There's no way. I wouldn't care. It is the community, um, right? But because, yeah, exactly. And because, like, my good friends still play it, I think we're what, we are what keep each other going in the well, game. That's really, I, I think that's, yeah. like, I don't think that uh, they would be mad at that, right? Like, I don't. I think that's sort of working by their design. And it comes back to, like, what Pokemon has in its DNA, right? Is, like, it is... Uh, trading was was designed to inspire that right it was designed to make you want to talk with other people about the pokemon that you've caught and 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 see and battle and trade and do all those things so it's fun that even as an adult you don't have to go and like make sure you don't have your 3ds on you at all times you can just go to these raids and then get to see people that are also engaged Mm -hmm. yeah the raids are fun um they can be frustrating but they're also fun thanks for that update that's really interesting yeah it's also you get to you get out you explore your community you 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 know you meet new people you you also might learn stuff about where you live that you might have never known because I know I did so it's really good Pokemon Go A plus I still play it every still day. good so I think that's basically the games we've been playing this week Moose has been playing nothing because he's just done with video games forever yeah I think um, video games and... are bad trash man <laughs> trash but uh we. We will be doing some Dragon Ball Fighter stuff later on. Just don't worry about that. But uh, we get to move on now to the time of the show where we rank on the list. The list. It's the list. Please be excited. Guess whose week it is, my dudes. It's mine. Uh, mine? I'm going to guess mine? The, mine? the second mine? most handsome. Oh, Brandon. Mine? <laughs> I have to say, it's my time, baby. Now, for those of you who didn't catch last week, Doggy... Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest number 2 on that list right below. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, right above Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. Good pick by Brandon. But this week, guys, I'm bringing a game. These are a lot of older games, right? Shovel Knight is not an old game, but it's inspired by old games. I want to bring one that's a little bit modern, but it's still sort of inspired by those that have come before it. It's a game that I played... Over 170 hours combined in the different versions of this game. I'm a big, big fan of it. Noah, you might have put a similar amount of time, to be honest. I'm talking about Stardew Valley. Oh, yeah. Stardew Valley is a game, for those of you who don't know, it's a farming simulator. Not a simulator as much. It's it's a game in the style of Harvest Moon. Uh, it came out, it was made by one man, Concerned Ape. He said, I love Harvest Moon games. They're not making Harvest Moon games that I particularly enjoy anymore. I want to make a game that I could love again. And uh, that's, I think, the thing that I want to lead off with first and foremost with Stardew Valley is that it is, you can feel love permeate every aspect of that game. This is a person that has affection for everything that they put in here, for these characters, for this world, for this town. Um, there is just a desire to help you enjoy it as well. And you do. Um, it, it eats up your time in a way that you don't see coming. Uh, you, you just, as soon as one day finishes, it's just long. The East J is just short enough for you to want to do another and just long enough to feel like you accomplish something every day. Um, mm-hmm. and when I first played it, I was not to get a little personal, a little bit. I was in like, I was just in a down mood. I was just a little bummed when that game came out and that game, like it gave me happiness for a month. It just like, it brought me out of a slump and I'm super thankful for that. So I love Stardew Valley. I know yeah. it will be a hard battle, but I want to put it at number three. 
That's above Shovel Knight, right? Above Shovel Knight, uh, but below Donkey Kong Country. I have not played Stardew Valley. Oh, I'll add to Will's lovely speech about the game. It's what it's really is one of those games where you just sit back, relax, it's stress free. It's like it calms you so much, and like he said, the hours just go by. Like the first, like when it came, like when I got it for the Switch, I played a lot of it. I can tell you the exact number. Uh, Noah put in sixty hours in the first two weeks. <laughs> it's so nice. It's like it's one of those games where it's just like really, really it's a warm nice blanket. To play. You just wrap up in it, and you feel and you feel comfy. Exactly. Yeah, I was like, and I just use it like in handheld mode. I just lay in bed and the covers and just play for hours and hours until the battery ran out, and then I have to charge it again. <laughs> it's just so relaxing. It really is one of those games that like it de stresses you. It's like perfect for that. And I think that it that it allows for multiple pe- for multiple ways to enjoy, right? Because I think that there's like the the general thing of the game does give you more structure than a lot of Harvest Moon games do. There's a community center that you work to help rebuild by finding resources in the world. Uh, some of those include, and they and that's the guiding post to help you explore the different parts of the game, right? There's one that's focused all on farming. There's one that's focused all on ranching. There's one that's focused all on exploring the mines. There's mm-hmm. one that's focused entirely on fishing and on foraging, right? So it really guides you in a very uh, elegant way um, on what are the things you can explore without telling you what to do. You don't have to do the community center. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to talk to any of the villagers. I have a friend, a mutual friend between Moose and I, who cannot does not care for story and video games. He doesn't care about characters. He thinks they're stupid. Uh, and and he uh, played... The weird guy. Well, I mean, he's fine. He's from New Zealand. It's a lawless wasteland. But... Um, <laughs> He, uh, but like he also played that game for a very high number of hours, just farming and mining. He didn't talk to other people. He talked to Penny. He liked Penny. That was it. But I love that. Like versus me, who was I? Like I was like I got I got to get to ten hearts with everyone. I have to be friends with everyone. I have to learn what yeah, they I like tried and to they do don't that like. As well. But he's just like, nah, dude, I got a cool farm. I got a cool farm, and I'm a creepy guy that goes through town and gives a gift to Penny and then leaves. That's all I do. <laughs> And I think that's like that's equally as fun, uh, and I love that that is equally as fun for for different people that like different things. Um, and also, it's just got a really cute, charming art style and like music that caught me off guard. Like, I uh, I I had the soundtrack because I bought the PS4 version, and it came with the soundtrack, and I just listened to it on while going to work in the mornings because I don't have a, I only have a CD player in my car, and it was it like it like made my day better. By listening to that it's a very soothing soundtrack it's great so you can tell like the developer put a lot of love and effort into the game and it was one guy it was one guy it's pretty yeah. crazy that's yeah, a, I love why that. that's a huge yeah. achievement for one person to make such a grand game it's so good i mean but he took the blueprint that was laid out for he him. did he, i mean and you're right he did he did he said he admits very obvious that this is a harvest moon clone but i think that that's because basically everything you're explaining to me like that's the same thing I felt playing a lot of the older Harvest Moon games. And I, but I can tell you, like, as a person who ha- is huge in the Harvest Moon, I've played all the old Harvest Moon games. I played a bunch. I played tons of Friends of Mineral Town on the Game Boy, especially as a kid. Yeah, Friends of Mineral Town, man. That game, the game is super great. good. I would say the Stardew Valley is, like, the only farming game I think that is better than that one, in my opinion. I think, I think that it does all of the stuff that that game has, but in addition it builds on top of it in a way that like just quality of life improvements that are super nice. Um, and I really mm. appreciate, um, but we need to get to the actual like ranking of this baby. Where, where do you feel it should go? Noah as the other man. And Moose has also played it. I should say, where do you I feel like I have also at? played, I have played the game. Oh, Brandon's well. played. It? I'm sorry. Then I only know for sure that Moose and Brandon, Moose and Noah have played it. Oh, um, I, I, I liked the game. It's just I didn't put nearly enough time into it like you guys did. So, like, I... I Because I, I, the few hours I did play, it was, like, great, right? I loved it. But I, I can't speak into the later parts of the game. I can't speak to how amazing it is to keep playing it all day because that just never happened with me, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, uh, But, I mean, I did enjoy the little bit I played. Um, I just can't attest to, like, the strong feelings everyone else seems to have. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. I'm I'm in the same boat as Muzzy. Um where I've I played it as well and I did like it. Um 
and this is the weirdest complaint and and it's such a stupid thing and i don't even I'd knock the game really but it's like a personal thing for me and it, and it's that i like the art of harvest moon more the anime aesthetic that it had that uh you know stardew valley didn't have like i don't like the art style of the character portraits it's such a stupid thing but i don't like it it looks i think that's fair. like cheap to me. i think that, i think i mean i think that even concerned ape will admit that like part of the thing of the one-man crew is that like he's not an artist by trade right like he's like if you but you can look like how like because i i followed the like the like updates of this game before it officially came out and like yeah, there were a lot of changes. Like the original concept art for the game was like really different, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very different. But like, I get that. Like, it's certainly there are some portraits that like I'm not talking to you because your portrait's bad. Elliot was like one yeah, of the last guys I talked it, to because it's such of it. a stupid thing that bothered me, but it did. And it just it seemed like every time I see like, and I I don't want to knock it for it because it's such a dumb thing, but it like bothered me, and it was such a it's such a big part of the game i guess because you're t- i for me at least because i was talking to people all the yeah time. i mean it's the perspective of, is what the characters look like in the game i think that's a fair complaint to have yeah i'm trying to figure i'm trying to like you know i'm getting the picture in my head what these people look like and to me they look d- stupid but the game itself was really good i, I liked it a lot and i don't want to knock on this guy's art because you know i feel like an <laughs> and i do want to give credit that game has actually gotten like it's not done like that's that's one thing is like multiplayer is getting added they added a bunch i went back when i to the switch version and i looked at like the stuff that had been added like you can get divorced you can make your kid disappear by going to a witch you can get a kid to turn into a bunch of birds you can, <laughs> you can divorce your wife then, or your husband then just get their memory wiped so you can marry them again it's super weird it's super weird and strange but i think that's, that's great i love it's, it's it's and like the game is like this is effed up you're you're doing bad stuff dude like so you should stop but you can be weird in that game and i kind of love that i kind of love it like there's this weird dark undercurrent that your character could be a horrible monster if they want but um I think that I think that it's weird because putting it up against Shovel Knight is hard because they are very yeah. similar in a lot of their like origin point, right? And I think a lot of it just comes down to do you prefer the type of game that Shovel Knight is, the type of game that Stardew Valley is? And see, for me, it's definitely like I like platformers, and so like Shovel Knight just naturally is above that, right? Uh, but also like to me, and this is kind of weird. Like I don't like to cast indie games all in one light, you know, but. Shovel Knight always kind of felt like the premier indie game, you know, the one that like everyone should strive to be like this. Yeah, you know? it's the it's the it's the game that kickstarted all kickstarters. It's the the indie game. Sure. Yeah. But I mean, like Stardew yeah. Valley was like the highest selling Switch game on last year, right? Like it like it, it sold for, it sold three million copies on Steam. Like I think that I think that saying that that Shovel Knight is just because it feels bigger. Like I can get that and. I see where you're coming from, but I think that that's not a full reason to knock it down. But I think I'm willing to put it at number four. I just think, like, and also, like, Shovel Knight is a special game to me. You know, like, I adore that game so much. See, I was leaning towards number five. Number five, Brandon. I'm not going to allow number five. Is that below... I'm just... What's the next game? Super Mario 3D. Super Mario 3D Land. Okay, okay, Saf. (laughs) Tell us why 3D Land is good. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Three Land is great on the basis that it's a, it does what it does well. Like I heard it last week, but basically it's a 3D platformer and it's made to utilize the 3DS and it does utilize the 3DS very effectively. It's short, quick, like it, it's match the support whole system. Like it's, it's designed in a certain way and it makes, it, and it does that design really well. I I feel like we. Yeah, sorry. I just, uh, yeah, I just, we've already we've already gone this yeah. over this last I, no, episode. No, no, I, I just feel like 3D Land is an underrated game. Doesn't get its due. Yeah. You so, know, no, this is um, this is where it's, this is where its comparison is. Whereas, like, you could talk about like um, Stardew Valley as being designed perfectly. Like, it sets up. It has certain targets that it wants to meet. It wants to be a Harvest Moon uh, clone, but it wants to honor that sort of thing, and it sets it out perfectly. 3D Land is the same thing. Whereas, like, it wants to make sure it levies all the design aspects and fe- as much of the features and design aspects of the 3ds as possible and it accomplishes that really well like a lot of the uh, levels itself is genius 
in regards to its design. They've did eight worlds and they did eight remix worlds, which is a lot of uh, content. What, content, yeah, and it's a fantastic game. Like it's fun. It brings back the joy in platforming and joy in movement. Hmm. The long jump's bad I, in that game. I the long don't jump think it should though. be. I don't think it should be above Shovel Knight because yes. Shovel Knight's already. We've already talked about Shovel Knight. It's really good. Yeah, yes, but um, I do want to put it above, above 3D, 3D Land. Land. I want to put it at number four. Yes, because it's it's. I'm giving it extra points because it gave me it gave me a very unique experience where it's yeah. just I, a, absolute relaxation. Oh, so so we're not even arguing the shovel knight point anymore, right? Because yes, was... we're not. But okay. I, yeah, I, I think we're. I think it's fine. I think that, that that's a losing argument. But I think that uh, in the case of 3D Land, I think a thing that should be noted, and I think should be against it, to be honest, is that there is a game that's just a better version of 3D Land. 3D World is just a better 3D Land, to be honest, right? Like just in terms of the design, in terms of what it does, in terms of the remix worlds. Yeah, I think I think that that's of note, and so I think that like. It's weird because now, looking back on both of those games, it's like 3D Land feels a lot like a prototype for what 3D World became, right? Where, like, I think that that Stardew Valley is, as of right now, the the pillar of its of its type of game. It is currently at the top. So just to just to clarify, so you're saying that you can't get a better sequel for Stardew Valley, then? Like, there's no. You, there, the there's potentially one that could Valley happen. Stuff. Yeah, at the moment, Stardew at the moment, Valley there's not the... right. Like if there's a Stardew Valley two or like a hard new Harvest Moon that's incredible, then I'm willing to hear it out. But right now, I think that doing the that it being the the peak of its genre, right, which is a genre that actually has a fair number of entries, especially there's a lot of Harvest Moon games for it mm-hmm. to have come basically out of nowhere and a lot for a lot of people's perspective, and do that is a thing that should be celebrated and noted. On a on a list like this, I think right. I think that the story of Stardew Valley is important to it. But but the thing is, like, th- I don't think it's fair to call 3D Land just a prototype of 3D World. You know, because like that it was game a base was... that they built off of. Sure, sure, but like, it's like 3D Land is still super fun to play. You know, regardless of how much better or whatever 3D World is, like 3D Land is just incredible to play. Uh, Maybe I'm a crazy person. But 3D Land is the one Mario game I didn't beat. You didn't beat it? 3D Land? I, See, I beat 3D Land eight months later. I, uh-huh. I I did not feel the drive to beat it. The only one I did not feel the drive to beat prior to that was Mar- Mar- New Super Mario Bros. DS. You're not right. alone, Will. I didn't even beat it. See, I adore this game. And, like, I played each level, like, a million times. You know, I played the whole game as Mario. I played the whole game as Luigi. I did it again. And again a third time, you know. And that final, final level is just, like, an amazing test of your platforming skills. Uh, I mean, all the special worlds, and especially that final one, you know, it's just, it feels, it's so good. I don't know. Just to be clear, though, I want to set the, okay, so Brandon and Saf, you're firm on your number four, five? No, no. No, no, I can't make a contribution here because I actually haven't played. Yeah, Stardew he never Valley. played Stardew yeah, Valley, so. but I'm I'm firm at number five. Okay, so I'd be the deciding, basically, right? Because I, I well, no, because you'd be the. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't so know. We'd either be in a, in a deadlock, or... right? Oh, okay, sure. Hmm. Because I I feel like I lean towards three land, to be honest. Personally, one thing I have to say as well is like going on uh, Muzzy's point in regards to like replaying it. I remember playing that a lot. Like it, it had a street pass feature where you pass over uh, other people with three D with three DSs, and they will note down their times, and you have that ability to beat the times that they noted down. So you just replay the level and see how fast. Oh, that that, that drive to have the best score of yeah, anyone you street passed cool, is dude. like yeah. so but, great. I mean, that's the, pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, it uses the three DS features well, really well, and it's and. But I think that that. I mean, that's like maybe this is just me. That doesn't like that's not that's not exciting. See that that that's yeah. just, okay. Here, <laughs> like, the, the, like, here's like the I thing get it. Like, like street pass is the kind of thing that like it, it, specifically this feature is the kind of thing where like you explain to someone you're like what you're stupid. But like just uh but the drive that it gave me to be the best at each level, you know, meant something to me. Yeah. You know, I never street pass people in my day to day life. 
Right. Never. I don't. I don't hit people. I live in a rural area. Street Pass is a feature that every Street Pass feature in every 3DS game I didn't use. It's a thing that like I wish I did, but I don't. But like, so I can't even speak to that one to be honest with you. Right. I can just say that like, hey, it's a feature that like a thirty percent of the population in the U.S. can't use. But like, right. even like, but, like, which is you know whatever. But like, I think that to me. 3d land never evoked emotion i never thought man i had thoughts of like that was fun but i never thought that was great or like man i earned that right and maybe it's because i didn't do the super hard level maybe that's it right because maybe that's where that's where it hits but for me there were more times in stardew valley where i sat there and i and i i I turned off the system and i said the rest of my day will be better yeah, that's not a difficult situation. Yeah. Right? And I always turned off the system and said, God damn it, I have to go to sleep. <laughs> yes, I'll know that. Also, I need to go to bed. Because you mentioned difficulty. That's another difficult thing to measure as well, where it's like, what would be a satisfactory difficulty level? Because that's one of the things I'm willing to compromise on in relation to criticism about 3D Land, where it's like, it, people have criticized it for being too easy. And it's one of those things that's like, it's really dependent upon what people's subjective value of what easy is or what what level of difficulty is fun yeah so i'm willing to accept that to be a bad mm-hmm. and that's fair I mean, and, we'll, and we'll have these conversations about these games more but yeah. yeah specifically on the emotion thing though it's like i what i love about 3d land is it strips away anything superfluous you know and it's just about the platforming and it does it great and i see i hate I, that i hate that so I, much. I, I, that's something <laughs> I, I hate, I hate a that lot these are not worlds i hate that they're floating blocks it makes my head hurt so much i get yeah. so I mad i love that i i, I hate uh, when games add all that extraneous stuff that i don't need i just need the base game to feel great and have great levels and 3d land executes that perfectly yeah. mm. i just want to explore a new world every time i go into a mario game like they did an odyssey that was perfect i don't no, want no, 3d but, land but the level design like it's a testament to like how great the designers are in Nintendo because like uh, there was a lot of in, uh, different levels. There was a lot of different variety to those levels. Like there was, there were music based levels where you have to jump in time of the beats, uh, and because the platforms will disappear in times of the uh, at, of the. Beats I mean that's what Galaxy did that too, but 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 the thing is like every level like looks on the surface so plain yeah i can remember most of those levels so clearly just because like the the objective of that level is so memorable you know uh, at least to me it is was it? i feel like to I'm me, playing, absolutely I'm playing it was. a completely different game no it's i i know i feel i mean I, see, I, see, I it's not hard to see where this is going i think i said my piece about Stardew valley and and what, and what is good about it uh and, and and it will either be two two and saf will be the deciding vote so i think that in this situation, it's going to be number five, which is the disgusting ranking, to be honest. Well, you should feel like I, awful fucking tied, people. I hope you're ready. Vote doesn't really count. No, it's, I mean, no, it does. It does, because otherwise we'll be here forever. No, no, no. What if I buy Stardew Valley and give you a review next week? <laughs> no, shut up. No, we, okay. <laughs> okay. we, we have to make a call now. I think we should just take it to a vote. Okay, so like, this is going on for a while. I think. I think Saf's vote should count. I think that he knows enough that it should factor in, and it may be half a vote, but even then, it still beats us. Uh, so I think I think by a vote of two and a half to two, uh, Stardew Valley goes in at number five on the list, right below Mario 3D Land. A disgusting ranking. Um, <laughs> a requirement to just make a game to try to sell your system, beat a game of passion and love. It's fine. <laughs> we just failed. Now you're feeling it. Now you're feeling the <laughs> it's list. Fine. Feeling this, it. is, this is what the list feels like, Will. This is what you're going to have to get used to. <laughs> no, it's fine. That's but fine. here's the deal. This was this week's Jump Up Supercast. I had a good time, despite my current tone of voice. Um, <laughs> we do have some some housekeeping to get to. Uh, first and foremost, we got that giveaway you might know about, uh, the Star- the Monster Hunter World giveaway. Uh, Moose effed up. He did a dumb thing. No, hold on. Let me... No, 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 no. Let- <laughs> three days. So in three days, we will know who won. We will talk about it on Twitter, and then we will... If you do not see on Twitter, if you're not following us on Twitter, follow us on Twitter, and we will also go over it on next week's podcast. Yeah. Um, but we also have another podcast under this Jump Up Supercast umbrella. Wow. Brandon is heading it up, so why don't you explain, my dude, what's going on? I would love to. Thank you for the baton pass. Um, so, Jump Up Supercast uh, semicolon, I guess. Game Club. That's what the official name is going to be. 
to you. What? Absolute to you. That's with with the I guess in there too. That that's the entire name. We were we were writing out the word semicolon. It's not a semicolon. It's jump. Yeah, uh, we're, we're the word out. semi dash colon. Game so 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 just yeah, jump up supercast semicolon. Game club, I guess. I guess you forgot. The I, I guess. guess. No, I, I got there. No, I guess. <laughs> so that okay. All right. Tell, but tell anyway, us. But anyway, it's the Jump Up Supercast Game Club. That's what the official name is here. I'm calling it right now. Um, so every week or every two weeks, actually, there's going to be an episode of the Jump Up Supercast Game Club. And what it is is it's a game club. It's just like a book club. Everybody knows what book clubs mm-hmm. are, right? Um, what are books? But it's about video games. Uh, books, <laughs> they suck. They're garbage. Uh, but video games are cool. They're fun. So every two weeks, we're going to play a video game. All of us, we're going to play the same game. And then we're going to have a podcast where we talk about said game. Mm-hmm. That's us. And it's going to be beautiful. We're going to talk about everything that game has to offer. The graphics, the story, the development, uh, you know, the gameplay. That's the most important thing. How how we felt about the game, and you know what we're gonna do after we're done with that? You know what? You know what? You know what happens with a game that you play on the Jump Up Supercast Game no, Club? We don't. You what know happens? What happens? You just made the list. Oh shit! So we're gonna put it on the list after we're done. Damn. Oh, and Brandon, yes. and it's gonna be a fun Brandon. time. And you know what the first game's gonna be? What is what? it gonna be? It's gonna be that game that we kept alluding to all episode. Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh my god. I had no idea. You know, I'm feeling like a Super Saiyan right now after hearing that, Brandon. Mm -hmm. So, one week from tomorrow, we're going to record the first episode. It should be up a few days after that. Not sure exactly what day. I don't like promising things that I can't keep, so I'm not going to say what day. (laughs) But just keep keep an eye out. Now, if you are a listener, and you do have Dragon Ball Fighters, like I said, a game club involves discussion, uh, we are hopefully going to... Uh, you can give your thoughts on that game either through YouTube comments, through our uh, Twitter feed, the Facebook page. We can, might make a post that you can put your general thoughts on fighters. And so if you put it there, we'll probably look at it and we we'll might talk about it on the show. So that's a good place if you have deep, important thoughts about fighting games or Goku's power level. Yeah. Give it to us there. <laughs> and, and you know what? In w- Also with the game club... Uh, periodically me and will we might just pop up on twitch here and there playing the game so that, yeah that we're Heck, we might that. just play fighters online together on stream who knows <gasps> we can't because he's on xbox on ps4 so we're done yeah, but <laughs> and also the game's kind of broken right yeah, now. these are all issues but m- other games other games <laughs> we'll work on it we'll work on it we'll figure it out kirby air right online it's fine uh but that's I think the show for the week. Thank you for that, Brandon. Please look forward to the Jump Up Super Semicolon Super Super Duper Club. I think that's the official name. I guess. But we want to thank you all for listening. We want to thank all the boys for joining this week. Brandon, Moose, Saf, Noah. Everyone have a good one. Wait, and wh- where people can find us? You can find us on Twitter at, at Jump Up Super... Fuck, what's our name? Jump Up Super Cast. Jump Up Super Cast, baby. <laughs> Or the live and learn podcast. Yeah, no, uh, uh, just the best. Jump up just the best. Uh, it's late. Facebook, <laughs> look us up. Jump up Supercast. Uh, we're on YouTube. We're on SoundCloud. You can find us on podcast services like iTunes, etc. So yeah, that's all. <laughs> Thank you. Very good news. That's the show, everyone. We'll see you next week. Stardew Valley Slide putting me on tilt. Slide into Brandon's DMs. Stop. Slide into Brandon's DMs. No. Fly, Stardew, fly. <laughs>